Well, tragedy in Watertown on this Valentine's Day. A father and his two children killed in a house fire overnight. Investigators say the flames started in the kitchen of the home in the 900 block of Myrtle Street, not far from the Samaritan Medical Center just before 1.30 this morning. News Channel 9's Josh Martin joining us live at Upstate University Hospital in Syracuse, where three other children are hospitalized tonight. Josh, any word on the extent of their injuries? Ron and Christy, investigators say two of the children are in critical condition. One of them is in good condition. Their names and ages have not been released. The names and ages of the father and the other two children that died in the fire also have not been released. The Watertown Fire Chief telling News Channel 9 that when they arrived on the scene at the fire early this morning, they knew people were trapped inside. They immediately tried to enter the home, but the fire was just too much. At the first report that a victim was found, uh, fire conditions got significantly worse. Uh, there was flames coming out the front door, um, kind of putting people in jeopardy. Every victim that came out was brought out, immediately put on a, a stretcher and put in an ambulance and transported to the hospital. The chief says he's been working for the city of Watertown for 33 years, and this is the worst fire he has ever seen. Firefighters from Syracuse are making their way up to Watertown to provide comfort and counseling for those who responded to the fire this morning. Rod and Christy. Uh, Josh, thanks very much. Now, it was a teenage girl inside that home who escaped the flames in the middle of the night and ran across the street to call 911. News Channel Lines Fire Jadron talks to the neighbor who answered the call for help out windows and doors. The remains of a family's home along Myrtle Avenue. Watertown crews say the fire started in the kitchen. Intense flames challenging firefighters from the start. Not long after the flames broke out, a teenage girl ran from this home and across the street, banging on several doors. And it was this door that finally answered her cries for help. Hey, my father and my sisters, our house is on fire. Minutes after the call to 911 went out, Bellis ran across the street trying to find a way past the smoke and flames. I kicked the front door in, the first, um, and as I kicked it, all of the smoke and heat came bellowing out the front door. Bellis and his wife also say they never heard any warning from an alarm. They could only hear the crackling of the fire. In a crisis like that, seconds seemed like hours, so it probably took three or four minutes before they brought the first child out, but I'm standing there just waiting, waiting. You know, once the uh, pumper truck arrived and they got water on the structure fire, um, so, yeah, you're, my heart was just breaking. As the investigation into this deadly fire continues, the Watertown Fire Chief tells us the flames sparked from cooking inside the kitchen, and they've also found while looking through the home that there were no working smoke detectors at the time of the fire. In Watertown, Farah Jadrin, News Channel 9. Farah, thank you. The Watertown School District is providing counseling services to students. We'll continue to update this story as we learn more on air and at localesquire.com.